Hi, welcome back to MathWiz. For today's video, I have taken a very important topic from A-level maths, which is modulus function. Before starting the topic, I would like to say that if you are not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe now so that you will not miss the coming videos. Don't forget to share and like the video. Thank you. Okay, so let's start the topic. In today's video, we will be seeing what is a modulus function. Then we will see what kind of graph we get when we graph a modulus function. And then we will see how to solve modulus equations. Okay, so let's start with the introduction part of modulus function. What is a modulus function actually? If we talk about modulus of a number, is the magnitude of the number without a sign. The modulus of 5 written as mode of 5. So mode of 5 equal to 5 and mode of minus 5 is also 5. You can see here that here. Now what is the meaning? Mode of 5 means from 0, what is the distance of 5 on the number line? So, as we know, this is 5 unit. So, mode of 5 is 5. Same way, if I talk about minus 5, so from here to here, what is, how many units away it is from the 0? It is 5 unit. So, in both cases, we have got positive 5. So, modulus of a number does not contain any negative sign, always it will be a positive number. So, it is important to note that the modulus of any number positive or negative is always a positive number or in other words we can say that modulus is a function which converts any type of number whether it is positive or negative as positive number. So, it removes the minus sign. Okay. Modulus of a number is also known as the absolute, absolute value of the number. Now, what is the definition of modulus function? So, modulus of x written as mode of x is defined as mode of x equal to x if x greater than or equal to 0. If x greater than or equal to 0 means if x is positive. And if x is less than 0, then in that case we get negative x. Mode of x equal to it can be x or it can be minus x when we have it is less than 0. Correct it. It's x less than 0 if it is negative. Okay. So this is the definition. Now we will see what kind of graph we will be getting when you graph a modulus function. So this is the parent function for a modulus function. y equal to mode of x. If you see when you graph it, we got a V shape graph. Now see if you take some points, if I take x equal to 1, y also will be 1. So 1, 1, this is 1 point. Same way 2, 2. 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5 and so on and if you, you will get this same. same way if you take negative values of x then also as you know mode of minus 1 will be positive 1. So minus 1 then y equal to 1. If x equal to minus 2 then y equal to positive 2. x equal to minus 3 then y equal to positive 3. So once you join them we get a v shape graph. Okay. Same way now here minus mode of x. So what is happening? It is being reflected in x axis. So we get an inverted V shape graph. Okay. Now here transformation involved. You can see here y equal to x minus 2 plus 1. If this is the case, what is the vertex here? We can write. What is the vertex? Vertex will be given by my x minus 2. So x minus 2 means x minus 2 equal to 0. So 
x equal to 2 means x coordinate 2 and y coordinate 1 or you can apply the transformation in the original graph see it says x minus 2 that means you have to shift or uh, we have to translate horizontally by 2 unit to the right side so 2 unit to the right side we came here see from here to here and then one unit up so we reached here okay and then the v-shape we will get so just draw the v-shape so this original graph is transformed by a vector translated by the vector to one okay now same way x plus 2 minus 3 so x plus 2 equal to 0 so x equal to minus 2 so we will go to x equal to minus 2 and y equal to minus 3 so minus 2 minus 3 so we two left side and then three unit downwards so we reached here right and then the v shape graph so it is translated by minus 2 minus 3 okay okay now let's see how to solve modulus equations it has a very important property that we need to remember mode of x equal to k where k greater than or equal to 0 means that x equal to k or x equal to minus k so if you have a modulus equation we can write two simple equations removing the modulus sign now let us see type 1 if equation is of the form mode of ax plus b equal to k we can solve the equation using ax plus b equal to k and ax plus b equal to minus k see what is happening we removed the modulus sign and wrote once equal to k next time we wrote x equal to minus k so we will get two equations and then we will simple equations and that we need to solve for x so let's see how to solve this example using this property so in this case what we will be doing we will write 2x minus 3 equal to 5 and 2x minus 3 is equal to minus 5 so 2x is equal to 8 so x equal to 5 here 2x is equal to minus 2 so x equal to minus 1 so we got two solutions x equal to 4 and x equal to minus 1 so we got two solutions okay done now you can check how to check if you want to check put x equal to 4 in that so x equal to 4 in that case what will be getting 4 into 2 minus 3 is equal to 5 so mode of 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 that is mode of 5 equal to 5 so 5 equal to 5 true same way if we are checking for x equal to minus 1 so we get mode of 2 into minus 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 is equal to my 5 now 
we get minus 2 minus 3 that is minus 5 mode of minus 5 equal to 5 and we know that mode of minus 5 is always 5 so 5 5 equal to 5 so this is also true right so that means both solutions are correct okay let's go to the next type type 2 if equation is of the form ax plus b equal mode of ax plus b equal to cx plus b we can solve the equations using ax plus b equal to cx plus b and ax plus b equal to minus cx plus d okay so if we have to solve this example like mode of 2x minus 3 equal to x plus 5 okay so let's take this we'll first of all we need to write two simple equations removing the modular sign. So let's write 2x minus 3 equal to x plus 5 and other one is 2x minus 3 equal to minus x plus 5. So let's solve this 2x you bring this side we will get 2x minus x equal to 5 plus 3 this implies that x equal to 8. now here let us open the bracket so 2x minus 3 equal to minus x minus 5 so 2x minus plus x is equal to minus 5 plus 3 so, 3x is equal to minus 2, right? So, x is equal to minus 2 by 3. Okay. So, we got two values of x and they are let me open the box, equal to 8 and here x equal to minus 2 by 3. We solve this. Similarly, you can check this also. I have shown you in the previous example how to check. Okay, I will take the next last type that is type 3. If we have modulus both sides. So, if you are solving equations having both sides modulus sign, then you solve the equation squaring both sides using this property mode of a equal to mode of b then a square equal to b square so what we need to do we just need to square both sides to remove the modulus sign let's do so here we'll write removing the modulus sign x minus 5 whole square is equal to now 2 square is 4 and we will write x plus 1 whole, whole square. Now let us expand the bracket. So we get x square minus 10x plus 25. And that is equal to 4 times x square plus 2x plus 1. Let me open that bracket also. So x square minus 10x plus 25 is equal to 4x square plus 8x plus 4. Okay. And if you combine the like terms here, bringing all the terms one side and making equal to 0, we get 3x square. plus 18x minus 21 is equal to 0. Then, see, these all three numbers are divisible by 3. So, I can divide the three terms by 3. So, if you divide, we get x square plus 6x minus 7 equal to 0 
now we'll try to factorize this so you can factorize like this x plus 7 into x minus 1 is equal to 0 if we multiply you will get back x square plus 6x minus 7 so this is the factorization for this part now we will solve for x so this implies that x equal to minus 7 and x equal to 1. So we got two values. The solutions are x equal to minus 7 and x equal to 1. So this was the last example. Now once again let us recap. In this video we learned about what is a modulus function. Then we saw what is graph of a modulus function, what kind of graph we get. And we saw that we get a V-shaped graph. Okay. Next we learned how to solve simul how to solve modulus equations. There are three types of modulus equations which we learn how to solve. Okay. So we completed this topic. This and we are coming towards the end of this video. I hope you like this. You understood whatever is taught here. Thank you. Keep watching Mathways. And once again, requesting you if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe the channel, share and like the video. If uh, any feedback or suggestion, if you can put in the comment box. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.